what's very interesting underlying um, detail in the film, and George will, will, I'm sure, talk about that, is the vehicles in the movie reflect where that person is at that specific point in 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 state of mind or in so um uh, furiosa is brought in on a, on a on a bike and then we see dementis and the history yeah. man is talking about like a shiny bike um and then later when things get more grandeur like for him and more grandiose and more over the top he now has like a chariot so with with three three bikes in in, fr in front of him and then later he's got the six foot where he becomes really really powerful and um and furiosa um you know is is right at the top of her game when she drives into this in in the second war rig now together with Petori and jack um, a little detail the first time when we see the the, the war rig it's only one tanker but the second time we see it, it's two tankers and so it's more powerful it has more storage um and then later when they flee from the site they're back into like an old repurposed uh 50s uh, valiant uh car and they're way weaker than than the mentors and and they're gonna be the prey of the mentors which is playing out and from the moment from that moment uh, forward like things start to change so when she is chasing the mentors it's the most powerful car that there is uh, at that point in the wasteland mm. and he is on a really shitty bike <laughs> and so he's he's no match for her yeah one of the most important things is that the vehicles are one thing but they actually have to become an extension of the characters just like their costume and their props and weapons and hairstyles and whatever the vehicles are definitely have to become an extension so uh for instance we see dementus at the beginning is is a head of a massive horde of bikers and he want he sees himself as some sort of uh I don't know, Roman emperor character, so he rides in a chariot. Later on, years later, when he's no longer mobile, it, his competitive advantage was being mobile, like marauding across the wasteland, and then he becomes more stable at Gastown. And at Gastown, he's now in a big six-foot, one of those big monster trucks that basically represents his char character. At the very end, when she's lost her, lost her arm and she's cut her hair and, and she goes after Dementus, the vehicle she takes from Scrotus is the Cranky Black. We call it the Cranky Black. That represents her no longer wanting to go back to the Green Place. She's only got one thing in her on her mind, and that is vengeance. And so that vehicle is an extension of her at that point in the story. <laughs>